How you doing? It's Outdoorsman 2009 coming to you with a product review today. I belong to the North American Hunting Club. Um, they sent me this knife. I'm doing a product review for them. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of a bright, got a nice glare. Taping this off my cell phone, so bear with me, please. The only thing I... I only had this knife for about three days now. The only thing I do not like about it, uh, the one thing I don't like about it is it says stainless on it. Then it also, I don't know if you can see it or not, it says China on it. Can we make an American made blade, please? You know, stop being so cheap. Um,. The handle's not too bad. It's kind of nice and sturdy. You know, you lock it down here. Uh, the lock, I kind of like the other one I have. The other couple of knives I have, I have a locking mechanism right here. I mean, an unlocking mechanism. I, I actually like that better. The overall feel of the knife is pretty good. It's real, it's pretty light. I can, you know, it's maneuverable, move it around. Um, I kind of don't like the thumb opener there. And plus, plus the spring is a little hard also. It's like sometimes I try to open it and come back and get, catch my finger like that. So I usually just clip it open like that or flick it open like that. Um, plus that's kind of big and bulky also, sticking out a little bit. Edges aren't bad. Put a little nick in the blade already, in the middle here. I've just been cutting paper and, you know, some, a little bit of cardboard, stuff like that. I actually cut an aluminum can also, uh, one of them big iced tea aluminum cans. I don't know if you can see that chip or not. It's just a small chip. Um, it is, uh... It does have a logo of the North American Hunting Club. I don't know, you know, if it's their product or who their company gets the, you know, the knife from or whatever. But I don't know. I'm going to review it for the next couple of days and see how it is. Like I said, it's not a bad knife. Um, another thing, I wish it had a pocket clip in it. You know, right here, a pocket clip, which it doesn't have. And if it's going to have this release in here, well, also maybe put another release right here at the bottom. You know, give it options. I like a knife with options. Um, I would show you the sheath with it, but it's pretty, pretty junky. It's uh, made of so-called nylon. It's probably some imitation nylon. Velcro is horrible on it. Sheath is garbage. Probably made in China also. Um, stainless, I don't know, I don't know much about blades, but we'll see how this one does, I'll test it out a little bit, then i got to send my review in, if you guys can comment, I don't know if anybody's a member of the North American Hunting Club, and you guys, if you also review products, let me know how that goes, you know, let me know what type of products you're reviewing, and subscribe to the page. Well, like again, it's December 1st, 2009. I myself, the outdoor, Outdoorsman 2009, coming to you from Michigan. Give me a little knife re review. I don't have no like tabletop notes or anything. Just going off of the mind. And again, this is uh, my camera phone, my Blackberry Storm camera phone. I still need to get a video camera for I can upload some better video. Sorry for the glare. Let me know if anybody's ever reviewed this knife or has a similar knife like this. You hear that spring? Not bad knife though. We'll see how it does. Alright, Outdoorsman 2009 signing out.